Hi, and thanks for joining me on this video. I will be talking about Kingster hosting and what it's meant for what it's meant for our business. And just want to give you guys a bit of a, a kind of a real world kind of perspective on what it's been like. Now, just to mention quickly that you know with hosting, a lot of people try and take corners. They they get a really cheap hosting package, and you know, to in my opinion, they end up sharing a server with like I don't know a few hundred other people. And it just slows everything down. And to be honest, Google, I don't really think looks on those kind of websites favorably. If you are serious about your business or an online business, or you know, you've really got to like take your website to the next level, you really have to get serious about your hosting. Let's say you want to race a car um, in a professional circuit. You're not going to show up with your existing car at home unless you own a Tesla. But you know, if you did, you would take it serious, right? You would own like you would make sure you got the right car to do the job. It's the same with hosting. I don't know why we're shortcutting hosting. If you want good quality, you gotta pay for it. Let me just rewind a little bit. Before I moved everything over to Kingster, which was a big decision for me, I was using kind of a self-managed cloud environment and I was paying around $200 a month, which was really quite expensive for hosting. Um, some of the limitations I found there was that I couldn't get I didn't know enough around the technical elements of how to get the best performance out of my WordPress websites. And although they were quite quick, um, I was getting frustrated with that and I was paying a lot of money. Um, we really needed a solution for our business um, in terms of speeding up our websites. And I did a lot of reviews. I did a lot of research. Um, I looked at stuff like WP Engine. Um, and I, especially with the WP Engine, when I was thinking about moving over, I did a lot of in-depth you know, went into forums, found what other people were saying. I've got friends who have been with them. The bottom line is that for me, everything was pointing towards Kingster for a few reasons. Now, um, I just want to say that I've probably been with them for over a year now. I couldn't be happier. And I think, you know, it is quite an expensive hosting platform. This, this isn't for, if you're just starting a WordPress site and you're looking for hosting, Kingster might not be your first choice. However, if you are serious about your business and you want to take it forward, it actually might be a great fit. Um, some of the things I like about Kingster personally is the backup feature, um, the staging environment, um, which is really quite powerful. So one of my frustrations previously was if I want to make a change to my website, my WordPress website, um, or I want to change a plugin to see if it's going to work. Um, I had no way of doing that before. I was actually quite nervous about kind of touching anything on my site, right? I was like, if I update this plugin or if I update WordPress version, is something going to break? Are my customers going to be unhappy? With Kingster, it's great. You, you push one button, it pushes everything to a staging environment. And that is a kind of a sandbox environment. It's like a play area for your website. So your, your live website remains kind of functional and your um, staging one is in the background. No one can see it, only you can see it. So what, what, you're allowed, what you can do is update your look and feel of your website. You can update your themes, everything else. And when you're ready, you can just push everything in that staging environment back to live. That is a huge, powerful feature. A lot of um, WordPress specific hosting do provide this, but this for me has been one of the great features about Kingster. The biggest though, by far, has been the speed. Um, it's actually been really, really good. And um, absolutely, you know, as I say, no regrets moving to Kingster. I think, let me just quickly dive into the dashboard quickly, just show you around um, very, very quick. Again, this is not an in-depth review. Okay, so this is the dashboard of uh, Kingster. It's obviously quite um, basic. You know, if you're used to cPanel and those kind of things, there's a few limitations here. However, for me, my preferences, I found this a lot better. If you do need anything specific, just click on the chat at the bottom right here. Kingster have been really, really good in getting back. You can see all these different kind of messages, you know, the history. Um, they really have responded really, really quickly. So um, that's just something to, you, you know, you might, as we go through this, you might not see specific features that you may like but just trust me when i say that you know they've got your back from a support perspective i've had only only good help um let's quickly jump into a site again this is not going to be detailed i just want to show you the menu options and what you have so obviously straight away yeah you get all your different kind of options and ip addresses and all of that you get your ftp details and just to mention of course everything is super secure right with this ftp um, and everything in general really secure um, you can really just change things with the click of a button, generate a new password, etc. Uh, database access, if you want to open MySQL, you can by clicking there. Let's have a look at backups quickly. So at the moment, I've got my backup set to once a day. I believe you can increase this, which is good. 
at any point you can restore that backup with one click. Um, really useful. Going into tools, um, a few options here like clearing your cache, etc. You can actually do that in the WordPress dashboard anyway. One nice feature is this HTTPS. So um, this comes with free Let's Encrypt certificate, which is great, which is actually going to save you money depending on your needs for SSL. In my case, I've just used this, which has saved me a bit of money from having to buy separate um, certificates. Kingston running the latest versions of PHP, which is really good for speed. Um, and of course, you can restart the PHP there. And you've got, you know, monitoring and that kind of thing, should you want a bit more in depth. Those are the basic tools. Um, of course, they've just included a CDN, which is really, really nice. So um, with a click of a button, you can actually add a CDN to your website, which is really, really good. I've recently tested this out with one of my sites and um, I must say it's serving my files really quickly. So that just kind of takes you over um, an individual you know, site, what that looks like. If you go into the DNS section, this is where you can manage um, all your C names for specific websites, which is really good. Um, of course, analytics, settings, etc. I'm not going to go through all of those. Okay, so back on the dashboard. Um, I hope that has been a little bit helpful just to show you around some of the back end of Kingster. As I say, I really like it and I'm sure you will too. And if you have found this video helpful, I would just really appreciate it if you use the link below because I'll benefit, Kingster will benefit, you'll benefit um, and that'll be really cool. So if you are serious about, you know, if you've heard about Kingster and you, you're on this video because you, you want to do a review from me who's been using it for a while, I would highly recommend that you take that next step. However, if you want to look at other reviews online and look at other options, please go ahead and do that. I'm just telling you, um, you know, what I've found. Kingstaff recently, what I have seen, um, introduced kind of smaller tier options. When we started, we went on to like the, the, the middle business tier, which is about $200 a month. Um, but they have since offered smaller packages. So if you are kind of an individual who are, you know, you're serious about setting up maybe your first business or you've got an, an existing website that you really need to crank up in terms of getting that speed up there, and getting like SEO benefits and all of that kind of thing. If you do want to take the next step, I, once again, just use the link below. That'll be really great. Um, I don't think you're going to regret moving over to Kingster. Um, it's a big decision moving a hosting platform. I can understand. But if you want to go for it, I would say now's the time. Don't delay. Just go for it.